when we say linoleic acid, what are we talking about? We're talking about a uh, fatty acid, 18 carbons, uh, two double bonds. It's uh, in the omega-6 family. It's the principal uh, omega-6 fatty acid in our diet. It's an essential fatty acid. Uh, that is to say, if you do not eat any of it, you will die um, because you will d develop um, deficiency symptoms because it is a essential, like a vitamin, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. Uh, a linoleic acid is essential omega-6 fatty acid. Um, from it are made many other important fatty acids, arachidonic acid and a bunch, bunch of other stuff. But linoleic acid constitutes about six to seven, five to seven percent of the total calories in our diet. And that's kind of where most most scientific organizations think it ought to be, you know, five to ten percent. But uh, that's what it is. It's found primarily in seed oils, corn oil, uh, used to be safflower and sunflower, but those oils now have been converted. They've been changed to where they're very low in little lake acid. So those oils do not have little lake much at all anymore. They've been not genetically modified, but what's the word where they have bred crops to be lower and lower and lower in little lake acid. Um, so corn oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil are really the primary sources of omega-6 in our diet. Why have oils like sunflower oil, why have has that selective breeding taken place to, to increase the monounsaturated fats? Pretty much because of shelf life issues. Um, the, the linoleic acid in, if you leave it out in the air, if you leave s s corn oil or s sunflower or safflower, excuse me, uh, cottonseed oil, or, saf or soy oil, those three oils, if you leave them out very long, the omega-6 fatty acids will react with oxygen in the air and will produce kind of off flavors. And they're more, it's more stable. If you want to be frying French fries, chicken, whatever, um, you want to use an oil that's not going to be oxidized as easily. Um, so that's so for those purposes, I think that's what those oils have been uh, genetically or, or been modified to be less than less LA. They're called high oleic oils. High oleic oleic is eighteen one omega nine. Um, so in any event, uh, that linoleic acid to your to your question, that's it's the essential omega six fatty acid. And so currently. In the typical American diet, about six to seven percent of calories are coming from this omega six linoleic acid, fatty acid, which is rough, roughly about you know 150, 160 calories, depending on on someone's total calorie intake, and that's around 15 to 18 grams of linoleic acid a day. Just to give someone an understanding of what that looks like in terms of of food, how many tablespoons of seed oil are we talking about here? So if you take soybean oil, which is about 50% by weight, linoleic acid, uh, if you're eating 15 grams a day of linoleic acid, that's like eating two tablespoons, 30 milliliters, 30 grams of soybean oil. And how much is required to meet the, the body's essential needs. That's even controversial at this point. Required uh, required to prevent you from uh, having serious deficiency symptoms, probably one or 2% of energy is essential. Uh, it covers, the, as far as we know, the essential needs. But this is one of those fatty acids, kind of like EPA and DHA in a way, where, yeah, you can meet, you can meet your needs to to live, to reproduce, to grow old and die, you can you can you can survive on a very low linoleic acid diet. But are you um, is is your health optimal? That's the question. Um, and I think what we've seen is higher linoleic acid levels are associated with with better long term health outcomes, uh, even though you're beyond what's essentially what the, the need is essentially. Sa same way with little with EPA and DHA. You can survive with virtually no EPA and DHA in your diet, uh, but you don't live as well and as long. Whereas if we were to consider 
the argument of someone who is a, a kind of critic of, of seed oils, they're probably, at least to my understanding, they're not arguing that it's essential. They're saying that, sure, we need some, but they're, they would be arguing that we, we want to consume like less than five grams a day, not this current intake in a modern world that's up at 15 to 18 grams. Is that, does that sound like a kind of fair representation of the typical argument? That's what you'd run into. They, they, nobody, nobody would advocate for no linoleic acid, not even the most anti-seed oil person in the world. Um, they might advocate for no seed oils and get your, get your omega-6s from eating almonds and peanuts and you know nuts. Uh, but you're right. Uh, no one would say eliminate linoleic acid from the diet. That would be crazy. They just say reduce it way down. When it comes to gut health, fiber is absolutely foundational, but not all fiber is created equal. That's why I teamed up with Dr. Will Bolsowitz to create DMN, Daily Microbiome Nutrition from 38 Terra. DMN is a next level complete prebiotic blend designed to nourish your gut with ingredients that are clean, clinically backed, and precisely dosed based on human clinical trials. Alongside five other prebiotics, we included Actazin, a green kiwi fruit powder that has been shown to support regularity and reduce occasional constipation. And Solnol, a resistant potato starch proven to increase key gut bacteria like Bifidobacterium and Acomancia, while also improving stool consistency and digestive comfort. No fillers, no fluff, just high quality science-backed prebiotics in one easy scoop per day. If you're looking for a simple, effective way to support your gut health alongside a healthy diet, this is it. And for the months of April and May, you can get 25% off your first DMN subscription with the code PROOF at checkout, an exclusive offer for the PROOF community bigger than any other offer you will see out there. Head to 38terra.com, that's 38tera.com, and use the code PROOF. Glorious poops and a happy gut are just around the corner.